mean to get this win, especially to get the fifth consecutive win against Michigan State tonight? While Michigan State recommends that students stay home for the fall semester, most freshmen have not gotten the dorm experience or the college experience in general. I really want you to get into it. I want you to analyze everything you're seeing, okay? So let's pull it up here. Oh, good let's lord. Take it a little bit back, all right? <laughs> Tell us what you're seeing. What's going on? Well, I see a guy there that wasn't able to land the flip. Who's that guy? <laughs> Illinois trying to tighten things up, but junior Leah Mitchell puts the icing on the cake as she cruises her way on the floor to a 9.85. Joe and Brian want to keep their customers safe and happy. It's what they do. And if they can serve their customers a little bit of comfort in pandemic times, well, then they're up for that. Last week, Matt Patricia's big word for camp was improvement, teaching the offense drills to be more aggressive upfield in order to score more points. But this week, it's about execution. So very I'm telling you guys right now, this song is going to make top 100 hits. I bet on it. Anyways, welcome back to Focal Point. I'm Taylor Gatoni here with your Spartan Sports Update. Tom Izzo and the Spartans landed in the 11th seed playoff and hit the hardwood against UCLA. Ethan Boyd, who grew up in East Lansing, and Michigan State is practically in his backyard. Michigan State's athletic director Bill Beekman spent a couple months to find different solutions to MSU's athletic financial crisis. I feel like this all of you guys being here is a trophy in itself. At the Let Them Play rally, high school athletes are voicing for a chance to play. I'm here because it's my, supposed to be my senior season. Just want to be able to get a chance to play. They're taking a stand. You can't really practice wrestling without contact, so we're, we're really fighting to get that season back. And took it to the Capitol. When I have found out that we weren't going to be able to play, I was just talking to my mom and I almost like broke down in tears because it's like, it hurt me. Because it's important to them. It's been delayed. We were supposed to start in like November and it's just been delayed and delayed and delayed and it's, we're tired of it. Athletes here at the Let Them Play rally are done wasting their time having their season taken away from them. But another factor of why they're here has to do with mental health. It's weird because even for school, we're all online, so like we're just pretty much sitting in our rooms or our houses all day. The rally was more than having the athletes play. With sports, it helps them escape that, escape the bad home life, escape everything that isn't good. To each individual, it held a deeper meaning. He could have been a statistic if he wouldn't open up to me. They're willing to do what it takes to, to, to be able to compete. Please let us play. Five days later, the athletes won big. All in this together. Governor Whitmer announced high school sports to resume today. Hey, Governor Whitmer. Do you want lettuce and tomato? Uh, just lettuce. We're open and we're ready for anybody that wants to come visit us. Joe Bell has learned a lot about patients. We really don't know what to expect yet. And he hopes it's about to pay off. He's owned the Peanut Barrel and East Lansing Institution for 40 years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and even if he has to keep the crowd to much less than full. At 25%. He's happy he's open again. Just like Brian Ponky, a couple blocks away at Hopcat. The first week we had really good sales last week and the takeout sales are really just continuing. Yeah. Nice to go back to somewhat of a, something that's normal. They're asking that all guests wear masks at all times. The QR menu where you can use your phone to pull up our menu. Of course, restaurant life is different for now. We also have a contact tracing form that we're asking them to do when they walk inside. The tables are more spaced out. You are not seeing uh, large crowds. With having a maximum of six per table and sanitizing every hour. They're taking every measure. Anything we can do to make sure our guests and our staff are safe. Joe and Brian want to keep their customers safe and happy. It's what they do. And if they can serve their customers a little bit of comfort in pandemic times, well, then they're up for that. I think there are still people that are nervous and they're not ready to come inside yet. And when they are, you know, we'll be here. We reopened because we missed our guests. They'll be there, most likely serving a signature burger and bringing a side of joy. And I'm Taylor Gatoni. Have a great weekend.